So now we are going to learn about the properties of inverse trigonometric function. Now in exercise 2.1 uh, we have already solved, uh, we have tried to find the principal values of different inverse trigonometric problems. Now using these properties those problems will be now far more shorter, maybe in 2-3 lines. So let's learn uh, these problems and use uh, these properties and use these properties in those problems. So the first one goes like sin inverse 1 by x is equal to cosec inverse x. So let me just prove the first one. So what we have in here is I will assume that let sin inverse 1 by x is equal to uh, y. I will assume that thing. Then take that sin inverse that side. So we have 1 by x is equal to sin y. Now 1 by x is sin y. So now if I do the opposite of sin, the opposite of sin y is what? It is cosec y. So cosec y will become what? x. Because if I say sin 30 is 1 by 2, then cosec 30 will be what? It will be a reciprocal of that sin 30 that is 2. So same way if sin y is 1 by x, then cosec y will be what? x. So now you write therefore y is equal to cosec inverse x. So now you see, now compare this one with this one. You see that both are equal to y. So we can write sin inverse 1 by x is equal to cosec inverse x. That's the formula which we get. Now you see that we know that cosec uh, sin is cosec theta is basically what 1 by sin theta. So same way the relation exists in cos and sec because sec theta is 1 by cos theta, then same relation exists between tan and cot because 1 by tan theta is cot theta. Okay, So this is how we get the first set of properties. Now we move on to the second set of properties. Let's pick this one first, that sin inverse minus x is equal to minus sin inverse x. So let us prove that thing. So what do we get? We'll f again we'll do what? Let sin inverse uh, minus x is equal to y. We are going to assume this one because we have to prove what? Sin inverse minus x is equal to minus sin inverse x. So I am taking the left hand side, I am assuming that sin inverse minus x is equal to y. Then take that sin the inverse that side, so we get sin y. Now let us take this minus sin also that side. So we get x is equal to minus sin y. Now in class 11 we learned one formula that is uh, sin of minus x is equal to minus sin x. Now here we see minus sin y. So we can write this one as x is equal to sin of minus y. We can write like this. Now take this sin that side. So we get sin inverse x is equal to minus y. So therefore y is equal to minus sin inverse x. Now compare this one with this one. You get sin inverse minus x is equal to minus sin inverse x. So that's proof. Now uh, uh, this property of sin inverse will be similar for cosec inverse also because cosec is what? It's inverse of sin, right? So cosec inverse will also follow that sin inverse minus x formula. Now same goes with tan. So sin, tan, cosec, they will share the same formula. Now how can you think of, how can you memorize that how tan also follows? You see tan is what? Tan is equal to what? Uh, tan theta is equal to what? Sin theta by cos theta. You see since sin theta, sin is in the numerator, so it preferred more. So that's why sin inverse, tan inverse and cosec inverse are related in this formula. Now let's move on to the property set 3. Now here since sin uh, cosec and tan they form one group in the same way the remaining uh, people that are cos cos inverse cot inverse and sec inverse they also form a group so now let's pick the first one the main character of that that is the cos inverse one and let us prove that thing so what we have cos inverse uh, minus x cos inverse minus x is equal to pi minus cos inverse x. So we have to prove this thing. 
So first I will write let cos inverse minus x is equal to y. So minus x is equal to what? It becomes cos y. This is what we get. So now take this minus sign that side. So x is equal to minus cos y. So this is what we get. So now after getting this thing, you see cos of minus y is not minus cos y. It is cos y. So it is not like that sine one. So for this one to remove this minus sign, what do we need to do? So we need to do one special thing that is you see cos of pi minus y cos of pi minus y is what look pi is what even multiple of 90 so cos will remain cos okay and this minus y uh, uh, pi minus y lies in second quadrant so in second quadrant cos is negative so we get minus cos y so in place of minus cos y we can write cos of pi minus y so we get cos pi minus y so cos goes that side we get cos inverse x is equal to pi minus y so therefore y is equal to what it is pi minus cos inverse x that's how we get the third set of properties and you see cot inverse minus x also follows this thing and sec inverse minus x also follows this one so they basically form the group so now we have property set 4 so here we have the property set 4 that is sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2. So let us prove that one. So first I will write let sin inverse x is equal to y. Now take that uh, sin inverse outside. So we get x is equal to sin y. This is what we get. Now we know one thing in class 10 maybe we have learned this formula that cos 90 minus theta is equal to sine theta. So here we have sine y. So in place of sine y, we can write this one as cos pi by 2 minus y. We can write. Now take this cos that side. So we have cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 minus y. Now we already know the value of y. What is the value of y? It is sine inverse x. Let's put that value in here. So cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 minus sine inverse x so we get sine inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 that's how we prove it so for this formula we need to know that who which two trigonometric function is related like this like sine 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta it was it now we know that sec 90 degree minus theta is equal to cosec theta so here it will be sec inverse x plus cosec inverse x is equal to pi by 2 and the other one was what tan 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta so that's why we have tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is equal to pi by 2 so this is we have property set 4 now let's move on to some important properties that is tan inverse x plus tan inverse y and tan inverse x minus tan inverse y actually they are the same thing so let me just pick this one these three formulas are quite same so let me pick the first one so we have in here what I am doing is I will assume that tan inverse x is equal to theta and tan inverse y is equal to alpha let us assume these two now after assuming this we can say that x is equal to if I take tan inverse that side tan theta and y is equal to we can say that it is tan alpha okay so this is what we have now what we are going to do is let us find what is tan of theta plus alpha tan of theta plus alpha is what we know the formula of tan a plus b that is tan a plus tan b minus tan a tan b so we have tan theta plus tan alpha divided by 1 minus tan theta tan alpha this is what we have so here let's put those values so tan theta the value of tan theta is x plus y divided by 1 minus x y and here we have tan theta plus alpha so let us take this tan this side let us take this tan this side 
so we have theta plus alpha is equal to tan inverse x plus y divided by 1 minus x y now what is this theta theta is tan inverse x so we get tan inverse x plus what is alpha it is tan inverse y tan inverse y is equal to this is what we get so that's how we get this formula now if you put minus sign in between tan inverse x and tan inverse y so all those plus sign uh, will become minus and the minus sign will become plus okay so this is what we get now this third one you see here to make the value of the angle positive we are just adding with pi how, why uh, why we are adding with pi because if i see xy when xy is greater than 1 generally this will not come in your uh, in your syllabus so since xy is greater than 1 if this this one is greater than 1 this 1 minus something bigger number this entire thing will be negative so this tan inverse will be negative so now if i add pi with that angle negative angle which you get so we'll get a positive value that's why we are adding pi with it uh, now these three, uh, three three formulas so let us show you this thing tan inverse 2 tan inverse x is equal to now 2 tan inverse x we can write this one as what tan inverse x plus tan inverse x we can write this thing then we can for, uh, apply this formula the first formula so we have tan inverse x plus x divided by 1 minus x square so basically we have tan inverse 2x divided by 1 minus x square that's the formula which we have here okay and these two formulas also you have to remember that is 2 tan inverse x is equal to sine inverse 2x by 1 plus x square and 2 tan inverse x is equal to cos inverse 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square you see how can you remember this one you see both of them have the, the denominator is 1 plus x square the denominator is 1 plus x square for sine inverse the numerator is 2x and for cos inverse the numerator is 1 minus x square so this is how we deal with the properties of inverse trigonometric functions